Hey guys, so surprise. So the chapter starts surprisingly starts by shifting focus to, to, to from Ketsubetsu Academy, and I guess their response to the numerous villain attacks. And I like this perspective for two reasons. One is the obvious that it gives spotlight to characters who, admittedly, have largely been in the background up to this point. And j just through this chapter, I'm already kind of getting a feel for the format we should expect for at least. The next couple weeks maybe which is that i think i think what we're gonna see out of of uh, as to what the new status quo is gonna look like in terms of story story structure here is that it'll be focused on the secondary care of characters either from ua or other schools and and just focus on them developing whereas izaku himself is is, per, is, is more likely he's, he's still gonna make appearances he's still gonna be part of the story but it'll, I think Izuku's involvement in the story right now is going to be more kind of, is going to be more, more secondary now. And him sort of helping, is, is him sort of helping from a distance rather than getting directly involved unless he, unless he actually has to. Or at, at least that's kind of the vibe I, I got just based off this chapter and Izuku's reappearance at the end. Um... And I know people are, and I know people are also going to assume he's with Ketsu, he's he's going to be with Ketsubetsu now, but I, but I don't think that's going to happen. I I think based on last, I think I think Izuku made it clear last chapter in in his just his letter alone that he wants to keep the people he cares about at arm's length. Oh wait, and that includes and that includes those from other schools, like and anyone anyone he considers a friend, he he's. Izuku's mission right now is is to keep those people is to keep those people is to keep those people like 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 emotionally emotionally disconnected from his life. I think like that that's kind of what he wants right now because it's I guess to him it's the only way he feels he can protect them from from from, from pretty much from basically all for one and Shigaraki and all that. Of course, naturally, I think one of the things we should also expect out of this is that. It is, is that when when pretty much class one A does make class one A and maybe even class one B makes a reappearance, I think it's more than likely that 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 that, that we're going to see them in the sense of of from trying to, of trying to hunt down Izuku and bring him back to UA. Like I think that's almost a guarantee right now. Um. And. Anyway, though, I got off on a tangent there. Uh, the second reason I, I like this different perspective is that we see that we, we easily see that we, we, we see that we, we see we see that we see that not only has the average person thrown away their trust in heroes, but they've learned to fight for themselves, as as from shown when when when, 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 when as shown when when, when, when had pretty much offered had offered assistance to, to basically those like rebels or survivors or something like he offered their assistance but they said no we, we we're, we're pretty much not trusting here we're not trusting we we've lost faith in you heroes and we're not we're not trusting you anymore we're, we've, we've learned to kind of spend for ourselves kind of thing and 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 the thing is is little things like that that make me that that, that, that pretty much make me go back to my previous like theories about how uh, about how the series could possibly end because if you remember, my, my, I think it was, it was my initial thought. My, my initial thought was the series would basically end with, with all quirks being purged from the world. And while it could still possibly be the case, after when I start, when I look at scenes like this, I think I think the more the, the, I think the more likely scenario I think will will I think the more likely scenario that scenes like this foreshadow is the idea of like the hero system in itself pretty much being completely inconsequential in the future because if if these people if the, if, the, if just this small group is an example of society like like is 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 just a small example of society like pretty much learning to pretty much defend itself without heroes then that'll mean in the future heroes themselves might be needed less and less until until there's barely a distinction between hero and civilian it'll just be it'll just be a society with with with, with pretty much with pretty much ab abnormal powers so yeah i think so yeah it's it's making me think that the hero society like in the future might not even exist anymore like and like it, it obviously izuku and izuku is going to be still be known as the world's greatest hero obviously but on but but on a technical level like the word hero 
isn't isn't going to be such a pretty much broad is going to be a much more broad term in the it's going to be a much more broad term it isn't going to be just restricted to like a profession anymore i think is it, like the 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 hero is hero profession is going to be dead i think in the few, but by the time the series reaches its climax i think um <clears throat> And yeah, even, even though he did get kind of brutalized in the chapter, it was actually it was actually great to see in order to see Shindo again because, out, out, again, out of all the characters that that are not part of UA, he was definitely at least one of my favorites, on just a pure likability level. Like with, with with a character like Shindo, he's one of those that he has this like energy and enthusiasm I jive with, and now that he is reuniting with Izuku, I'm definitely curious how how they'll work off each other, but even more than that, with the villain in question being muscular, I've I've definitely got more than more than my, my fair share of expectations for, for this kind of chapter. Like, I'm, like it's one of those things where as as far as this fight goes, I don't expect muscular to be like in order to go down easily, but I doubt that I at the same time I, I doubt this fight is gonna go the same way it did it did the last time Izuku fought him. Like. I think it goes without saying that if that like the, like the last time Izuku had fought Muscular, he practically broke himself in order to just to just to, he broke his whole entire body just to pretty much to, in order to just beat him. But and I, I but I I doubt that I doubt this time with all that Izuku learned up to this point, I doubt he I doubt that Izuku will will, actually, will, will pretty much need to pretty much break will need to push his body past his limitation and break himself this time like i think i think it's going to be a little bit more of an a little bit more of an even match at the very least this time um also j just a little bit of a quick comment on the art this week because for the most part it was it was standard fare of what we'd ex of what we've come to expect from Watakoshi. but every time he he did a panel with, with a close-up of someone's face especially musculars it felt like Horikoshi went above and beyond to make make sure that muscular looked fucking terrifying. Like like muscular in this in this chapter was 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 pretty much definitely was was pretty much definitely um he he he, he definitely gave out the vibe of of definitely like a, a a monster for sure. Like this this wasn't. Like this, this looked like a guy who who you wouldn't want to run into on the street or just anywhere. Like he looked like a, compared to his previous, compared to his previous appearance in like, in like season two, that he looks like a he looks like a real like terrifying beast or, terrifying beast like like someone you sh you should fear or you should fear right now. And yeah, I'm just I'm I'm kind of curious as to what's. As to as to what this is gonna as to how this fight's gonna play out, honestly. Um, now also now I I, I I suppose now just just quickly like going back to that to that previous thing I talked about with uh with with the idea of, of us focusing largely on secondary heroes, I I I, 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 I don't I don't mind like pro focusing on the secondary characters and whatnot, but I. I but at the same, but at the same time, I I, I do kind of hope that we, that we don't completely stray away from like, from, from, from basically not focusing on, from not focusing on um, on on class one A. Like, d don't get me wrong, I don't expect class one A to take up all the screen time. I do expect a lot of characters we haven't focused on in a while to pretty much take up the bulk of it. But one one thing for me right now that I'm kind of like focused on is one thing I am kind of keeping in the back of my head right now is that. There are characters who I felt have been, who even though they have been given spotlight, have also are also still in some ways like like pretty massively underdeveloped when when it comes to specifically class one A. So I'm again I'm I'm all for having like 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 Ketsubetsu and 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 so many of these other schools like fe featured and getting and the the character the students the students from these schools getting developed, but um, yeah I. I, I, I do hope we uh, I I do hope that I do hope Horikoshi is kind of is is a little careful with with who he chooses to who he chooses to develop because there are characters who do do need a little bit more development than others I think um, and and also honestly just with honestly just with the idea of 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 other schools getting the screen time now honestly let's 
another expectation I'm having with this right now is let, let's pretty much get to focusing on on all on as as many of the as many of the schools as we can. Like I don't know if Ketsubetsu and I, I forget the other one, but but the one I forget the other one. But yeah, let's let's just focus on as many schools as we can out, outside of UA, like before we return to them. Yeah, I, I know I'm kind of going all over the place with this last part, but yeah, I, I, I see the potential in this setup right now, and I wanna, and I'm just kind of laying out my expectations for this. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got. Enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Analyst Your Control. Dead Night of a Night, signing off. Later, guys.